These days of the second lockdown that we're experiencing coincide with the last days of the church's year, which in the liturgy, um, especially the readings and the prayers of the Mass, focus on what we call eschatology, which is the last things. And there's not some small coincidence that we are doing this at this time, during this lockdown, because it's giving us time, hopefully, to reflect on the more important things, the essence of life, what life means in relation to our eternal destiny. Each evening, as you know, um, we've been having a holy hour in the church, there's been the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, and we've been praying the rosary for the intentions of the parish. And I know many of you are joining each evening on the live stream to participate in some way during that time of prayer. And I want you to know that I bring all of you, especially the members of the parish family, in my prayer during that time before the Blessed Sacrament in the church, you're all very present to my mind as we make that time of adoration. At the end of the period of adoration each evening, I take the monstrance, that container which has the body of our Lord in, and I give a blessing. The church is empty, but I'm very conscious that I'm blessing the whole parish in every corner. Our Lord's blessing goes out from this place each evening from the altar to bless all those of you who are at home and especially to touch the sick and the suffering, the fearful, those in isolation at this time. It's a very simple but beautiful little ritual that we do. And St John Henry Newman wrote something very beautiful about this little service or devotion that we call the benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. He writes, the benediction of the Blessed Sacrament is one of the most simple rites of the Church. It is our Lord's solemn benediction of his people, as when he lifted up his hands over the children, or when he blessed his chosen ones when he ascended up from Mount Olivet. As sons might come before a parent before going to bed at night, so the great Catholic family comes before the Eternal Father after the bustle or toil of the day, and he smiles upon them and sheds upon them the light of his countenance. It is a full accomplishment of what the priest invokes upon the Israelites. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord show his face to thee and have mercy on thee. The Lord turn his countenance to thee and give thee peace. We always end the exposition, the holy hour, as we do mass each day, by invoking our Blessed Lady in the Hail Holy Queen. Because as St John Henry Newman says in another place, Mary is the gate of heaven. Why is she the gate of heaven? He says it's because it was through her that our Lord passed from heaven to earth. So let's commend ourselves to our Blessed Lady daily. Let's commend our families to her and let's commend our parish family to her and all those in need at this time. And may God continue to bless you. And as always, I ask you, Please pray for me.